so Juventus in the traditional black and white strip River Plate in the white with the red sash all the honours have been performed we await now the starting moment it's the Argentine side who are going to kick off Francesca Lee at 35 with uh, Ortega who's 22 two superb and uh, contrasting generations uh, of Argentine football but uh, Francesca of course is a Uruguayan who's played most of his best football in Argentina as well as in Italy and in France and this for him is a very very big occasion he said he missed the 1986 Toyota Cup here Brazilian referee prepares to get the signal from the side and he can really get underway. And we're off the 17th Toyota Cup, Juventus versus River Plate, both sides have faced major surgery since winning most prestigious trophy in their own continent but both sides are still going uh, very strong two trophies at stake here the Toyota Cup and the old Intercontinental Cup and uh, is Bolivio getting wide on the right hand side and making a bit of a mess of it and it could have been half an open for them apart from those two trophies there's a quarter of a million dollars for taking part $25,000 for the winners with both clubs controlling the TV rights within their own countries so there's a lot at stake here apart from pride the score currently in this competition is 10 victories to South America overall and six to Europe River Plate have they say had an easier program coming to this game and came here a couple of days earlier after a 36 hour journey Juventus have just faced AC Milan of Manchester United then then a long trip to Japan, they go back to play Bologna and then they move on to Turkey. It's a formidable program, but they're a formidable club. Chipped into the middle for Ferrara to get away. This is uh, Torricelli and the uh, flag had gone. So Betty number 11 plays uh, on the left hand side gets forward into an attacking position Ortega there plays behind the front two of Cruz and uh, Francesca Lee. and on the right hand side Montserrat will get right when he gets a chance flicked on by Del Piero leaving a lot of space out there for Hernan Diaz down the right goes Montserrat banged into the middle shouldn't be too much trouble for Peruzzi current Italian national goalkeeper saved of course those two very very important penalty kicks in the Champions uh, League Cup final it's interesting that uh, Sorin looks like he's got the job of marking Del Piero a bit of a challenge there by Deschamps which the referee didn't like That's uh, Estrada, Ayala, and on the left hand side is Peruzzo. Another harsh challenge. This time it was Estrada who's penalized. The form is with teams like this, you need a strong referee to make an impression early on. Otherwise, it can get out of control. Boxing, nice little run into trouble. Put down by Perizzo. Del Piero waits in the middle with uh, Alan Boxing, the Croat. Zinedine Zidane gets it down for Ferrara. In trouble, foul. A little bit of uh, ankle tapping going on early on. Delivio. Deschamps, tight midfield. Estrada wide. 
nicely into Ortega, but he gives it away. Livio, Boxic, good challenge. There's no space at all at the moment. And should be an easy one for Torricelli. He's just recovered from a knee injury. And uh, interesting that he's playing on the right-hand side. Most people expected him to play on the left. Porini playing in that position. Boxic protects it well. Good play. Boxic making a good run. Boxic still going. And there was a foul there, I'd have thought, on Del Piero. He was really chopped down as uh, Boxic tried to give him a quick pass and get a return, and he'll need treatment. That looked like a fairly violent tackle as uh, Boxic tried to go by there. That's a harsh one, and I'm surprised the referee didn't give a free kick there. Good cross, but not quite good enough, and that was some challenge. Good run by the Croat. Boxic is in the middle for the deep cross. Ferrara's under that. Well played by Delivio. Lovely play. Jugovic was almost through there. And this is a nice little run. Perini almost in trouble. This is Cruz. And still in possession. Ayala comes to help him. This is Montserrat. And a throw in to uh, River Plate. The side who've won their league championship 24 times. Juventus have won 23. So they can see the quality that there is. Not in that challenge, though. That's a free kick. Ortega getting down the right-hand side. Late challenge. It'll mean the big guys will come up from the back. And that comes to absolutely nothing. Ortega, who made it into the uh, Argentine national side at the age of 18. Oh, it's a tremendous leap there. Torricelli, Delivio, Serene got to him, Mayala, Francescoli, some nimble feet here. Got to be quick before the challenges come in. So tight in midfield. Both sides pressing the opponent. Francesca, nice little flick, but it should be safe. Torricelli under pressure. Not giving him time to get it away. Francesca, who's just signed a new contract worth a million dollars for one season. Not bad for what will be a 36-year-old at the end of that contract. Now, Del Piero. Del Piero's got a runner. He tries one, but Jugovic was free on the left-hand side. Should he have given it to him instead of trying that uh, optimistic long shot? But if you're a quality player like that, nice pass from Zidane. Now, look at the overlapping player. But he had a go when perhaps he should have given it to the Serb Jugovic on his left-hand side. But he's terrific when he comes inside with his right foot. Normally hits the target. But it's a, not a particularly good uh, clearance. But fortunately, Hernan Diaz gets it away. Not very cleanly, though. goes in, the referee doesn't like the challenge, and that's a free kick to River Plate. Swing it wide here to Berti, quickly onto him with Delivio. Nice return, though, from Francesca. That's good play. Will this be a problem? Perini came in there. It was, in fact, uh, with the header. Every other shot we seem to get. Del Piero, although other players are in the game also. Torricelli, former cabinet maker, who came late into the game and is now 
getting into the Italian national side. Free kick, foul on uh, Delivio by Sorin, the player who came to Juventus, didn't like it much, played uh, 150 minutes in six months, went on loan to River Plate, and now they're negotiating to sign him. It'll be interesting how things work out for them here. This is going to be a big one with big fellas nicked into the middle. Oh, it's a poor one from uh, Zidane. Deschamps tries to switch one. That's a fine ball. It's out of... A little bit... Uh, a little bit tight there for Delivio, but he knows he made a mistake. That was a great cross-field pass. Torricelli. Oh, Zidane. Can he have a go from here? He does. It's a good shot. Bonanno at the second attempt. Nice try. Picked up by Sergio Berti on the left here. Francescoli. Berti again. Free kick. A lot of space on the right hand side. For Anandias. But how quickly Juventus closed them down. It's pushing them back. Right back. Now there's going to be pressure on Sorin here. What's he going to do? Wax it away. It's the only thing he can do, really. And uh, River Plate have done well to keep possession. Cruz beaten by Torricelli. Sorin down the line. And Juventus making it really hard for them, but Berti knocks one forward to Cruz. He's too strong, and Angelo Peruzzi, the goalkeeper, has it comfortably. Both teams, of course, have been here before. Juventus, a marvellous game when uh, Michel Platini and Michael Laudrup, who's uh, commentating in the booth just to my right, were two of the star names when they beat the Argentine side, Argentinos Juniors, on penalties. Wonderful game then. And uh, River Plate have been here. They won 1 0. And here comes uh, Boxic and goes Jugovic. Chance here to strike. Well, he has a go from all sorts of angles and places. Good cross. Jugovic is up there well. This is a hard one to hit from that angle. And it's well over. Another one from Del Piero. Sorry to Berti. Francescoli. Youngest player, Sorin, on the ball. To the oldest, Francescoli, 35 and 20. Deschamps went in there high. The referee didn't like it. That's a free kick. Showed his studs. Hasn't really got a pattern in the game yet. Uh, certainly, River Plate haven't got going, but the, the counter attack is very much to their liking. But how hard Juventus are working to deny them a bit of space and consecutive passes. Forward goes Berti. Done well, and it's Ortega. Ortega's going through. Good challenge. Great piece of play there. And uh, Boxic, a little touch that almost got it through. Here they are on the break. Boxic on the left hand side. Del Piero in the middle. They can get in here. Boxic is in. Great save. Wonderful opportunity and a superb counter attack. Should he have squared it though? With Del Piero begging for the opportunity. What a superb counter attack. Straight to the path of Boxic. Past this man. Should he have squared it? But the goalkeeper, Bonanno, did a wonderful job. And now the corner. And sadly, it goes straight out. So a bit of an anticlimax after what was a superb move. And clearly, after 13 minutes or so, the best move of the game so far. Pitch the ball in midfield, switch it to the right, switch it to the left. Delivio's pass. There's uh, Boxic. Pass one man.
drifting past another, and Roberto Bonanno, the 26-year-old goalkeeper, did a great job. Here they come again, Delivio, Estrada, they're having to work hard here at River Plate. When they came here, Juventus were, the coach Lippi said, mentally and physically exhausted. They certainly look pretty sharp here at the moment. Good play by Bonanno, certainly a, a wonderful save, saved his side. Good play by Jugovic, Zidane, Del Piero, and here's Boxic. Great start, Zidane can knock it in. Oh, somehow it's diverted away. What a superb save. That was Sorin, I think, who got a leg to it, but they should have had the ball in the back of the net. Zidane, Del Piero, Goalkeeper gets there, then surely it's got to go in. Here they come again. Delivio. Offside, the flag is up. Well, real drama here. And once again, Bonanno saved the day, but it was uh, Sarin who got a leg to it. This is a great interception. Then surely Zidane was going to knock it in. And what a deflection by Sarin. And that's what they thought about. Oh, that's uh, a high challenge on Francescoli, a boot in the face. Sorin, the hero of the moment, the youngster who is still technically a Juventus player. Ortega, three against one. He nearly gets away with it, he does get away with it. Fabulous, play on. Four Juventus players around him, and he didn't get the free kick either. Delivio, well cut out by Montserrat. Great pace in the game now. Some lovely skills. High challenge. Free kick. A little bit of snake play there by Ariel Ortega. Now oh, Francesca, can he turn? Oh gosh, that was some challenge and a late one. Unnecessarily harsh by uh, Ferrara. going through his man. Now that means uh, big fellas can get up there as Francesca awaits the kick by Berti. Ayala's up there, goalkeeper stays on his line. Oh, he's being held off there, certainly. They clear it, but now he's going to whack it and deflect it away. That was banged in by Montserrat. That could have gone anywhere. Goalkeeper Ferrucci surely wouldn't have seen that as that came at him coming through a ruck of players and deflected away for a corner Francesca again it's a good one but it's uh, away by Zidane Boxic is some worker this fellow and he's quick terrific run but outnumbered he had a bit of support from Del Piero, not when he started, but by the time he'd uh, lost it, he had. With some great play in midfield here, and some good defending too. Jukovic wants to take it quickly, no, he's got to come back. Marvellous run by Alan Boxic, who says himself how much he's enjoying playing for Juventus. Boxic. Dan, oh, unlucky. Feeding Alan Boxic, who looked as if he was cutting through the defence there, then suddenly lost it. Didier Deschamps to Delivio. They're working the ball so well, so quickly. Torricelli. Look at the numbers of players supporting each other. And a little bit wayward there by Zidane. Torricelli still going. Del Piero, and no free kick. That could be River on the break. Perini in, gets in the way well. Some wonderful build-up play here by Juventus. Ooh. 
That wasn't a particularly good one. And Ferrara decides at this time to have a breather and start again. That's the pressing play that they've become so famous for. Pressing when they've got the ball and then when the opposition haven't, really putting the squeeze on them, forcing them to make a mistake. Good lead by uh, Ayala. Marvellous in here. Free kick. Ramon Diaz, who is a bit of a hero in Japan. Apart from in 1979 when he was the world youth leading scorer, he was also the leading scorer for Yokohama Marinos in the first year of the J League. Then went back to play for River Plate and uh, then became their coach. It's quite a record. Sorry, doing well. Great stuff. Ortega. Some lovely skills. Montserrat out there with Porini. Two million dollars from uh, San Lorenzo in the close season. They don't get much of a close season in Argentina. Just one week, in fact, between the two halves of the season. Now Boxic. But too many players covering. Ortega went down the right-hand side, but now he's come back to pinch it off uh, Deschamps. Berti, Francescoli, plays it to Sorin, he's got to come back a bit. Berizzo. Berti again, has he gone out? He has now. Calls all round, but it's a river play throw. Just going to be not such a good one. Jugovic and Borini, Montero. Montero is almost in trouble. Not the greatest back passes but the Peruzzi did it well and Andreas that's not a particularly good one well intercepted by Angelo Delivio can he keep it in and on the run now is uh, Julio Cruz we haven't seen much of him the big gangling number seven up front he's in possession again here and gets a corner, which will bring up Ayala and uh, Berizzo from the back. Ayala has certainly won a couple of great challenges at the back. What can he do here? Berizzo and Ayala coming in from the back of the penalty area. Lots of pushing and shoving. Goalkeeper in there, but Boxic got it. They pour out of the Juventus penalty area. Picked up by Hernan Diaz. Now there's a chance here for a good cross from Montserrat. It's too strong and it's out. That was a little bit of an opportunity. But he was uh, never with a chance of getting it. So for Juventus, this is the lineup that beat Manchester United in the Champions League at Old Trafford just recently and confirmed their place in the quarterfinals of that competition. And for River Plate, this is their usual lineup. Both teams having lost a lot of quality players in the last few months by choice. Ramon Diaz of River Plate sold 19 million dollars worth and bought 11 million dollars worth but it doesn't seem to have affected their form Montserrat can't get that but when Juventus lose players like Viali, Ravanelli, Vecherwood and don't forget they're not at full strength here they're without Conte midfield player and Posotto who would normally play at left back so they're a formidable force. And that's 
Porini playing in that left back position instead of Pesotto, uh, who won the ball here. His box set, you started the game really well, but tightly marked and well tackled by Estrada. It's Berti. Berti's good on that left foot. He's got to watch out, Ortega. Good challenge by Ferrara. Now, Zidane. Good run by the Frenchman. Will he have a pop from here? Delivio can cross it well. Delivio. Now Zidane. Blocked again. Zidane once more. They keep winning it. River Plate can't get it away. Now there's a bit of space and time for them. Great pressure by Juventus, but it all came through the middle and they couldn't get a shot in. A little bit more width and it might have been different. Zidane to Delivio and good defending here by River Plate. They don't give him any space and no chance to get a shot in. Here's Cruz holding the ball up well. Can he get it into Francescoli? Berti's in the middle too. So another opportunity for River Plate to get the ball into the middle. Montserrat. Vega. He's a wriggly, tricky customer. Hangs it in the middle, but ooh, Montero, the Uruguay, made a bit of a mess of that one. Cruz. Well, this is a chance here for Berizzo. And an opportunity now for Montserrat. Oh, a great challenge uh, for, in fact, Ortega coming in from that right-hand side. Ortega, good challenge, though, and he claims that it went out, but he's got possession now, he's got a bit of space. Oh, that was a giveaway to Zidane. That was a foul, but the referee says, play on. No, he doesn't. Quickly taken by Deschamps, too quick. Ball was rolling, let's do it again. It's been a fairly frantic first 25 minutes. Terrific commitment, a lot of skill, great competition, particularly in midfield, and some good defending. Sorin didn't get a clearance there. Delivio's onto him and fouls him. to River Plate. Sorin will take it. Delivio. Great challenge coming across by uh, Estrada. The traditional Argentine number five who sits in front of the back four and is usually used in a defensive role but it's a good pass of the ball and sprays the ball around well to get attacks going. There's a push there on uh, Delivio, on uh, Del Piero rather, by Berizzo. Deschamps hasn't got in the game yet, but uh, Zidane, the other Frenchman, has been very lively. Jugovic over on that left-hand side too is getting more involved. Del Piero, Deschamps, Forini, and uh, River Plate are working hard at the, uh, if you like, the Juventus pressing game. Zidane, Olivio, Torricelli, of course they've got some lovely touches, but how hard the River Plate side harry them and deny them space. Playing a couple of matches like this uh, every week, I would have thought you got a few aching bones and muscles. Perini comes across, Montserrat competing with him. Jugovic, that's a foul. See that one again as uh, Jugovic goes in on him. 
such a hero here in 1991 when he scored a couple of goals for Red Star Belgrade. When they were down to 10 men for most of the match when Savicevic was sent off after about 35 minutes. Put in by Barizzo. Sorin knocks it forward again. Torricelli plays safe. It was in 1986 that uh, River Plate beat Testawa Bucharest here by one goal to nil. Goal scored by Alzamendi, a Uruguayan. And uh, it was 1985 that Juventus beat Argentinos Juniors 4-2 on penalties after it was 2-2 after extra time. Well played by Moreno, the Uruguayan. Zidane and... Uh, Deschamps getting themselves into trouble. Estrada knocks the ball forward too strong after winning the tackle so well. So Angelo Peruzzi, the 26-year-old, who was brought into Serie A football in a dramatic fashion when uh, he was sitting on the bench and the first-choice goalkeeper was knocked out by a firework, but he was uh, called on to do his stuff. Never really looked back since. The sixth season with Juventus. He's had less problems than uh, Roberto Banana at the other end. But uh, River Plate are getting involved much more in midfield. It's not uh, a contest where you can see either side has a very obvious advantage. Torricelli does well to get out with an awkward ball. It's kept in by Delivio and Estrada. Ferrara thumps it forward. That's good control by Alan Boxic. Zidane is under pressure quickly. Finds Delivio. A lot of River Plate players getting behind the ball. Boxic will have to go to get that. He's pushed off it, surely. By Ayala. He protests and gets nothing. The linesman uh, on his side, closest to the action, is a gentleman called Yoshi Hiroshima who's just uh, won an award from the J-League as the, I should say, uh, assistant referee, not linesman, the best assistant referee in the J-League, but he didn't fancy that one much. And I think most of us will agree with him. So, Ramon Diaz, you see his side get back into the game in midfield, but the counter-attack is always a major threat from Juventus. Estrada on the ball, knocks it forward gently to Francescoli. Does well to get it off to Berti. Francescoli going for it. Free kick. Certainly one of the great figures uh, of Argentine football and indeed around the world. It's an interesting story that uh, Zidane, who's 11 years younger than Francescoli, who comes from Marseille, as a kid used to watch Francescoli play for Olympic Marseille. And he's such a fan of his that he's named his son Enzo. And he's determined, he says, whatever he gets from this contest, to get uh, Francescoli's shirt after the game for his son when he's old enough to understand these things. So it's nice to see that some of the players are as loony as the rest of us about this game sometimes. Knocked forward by Enan Diaz, but uh, straight to Deschamps. Quick little flick to Jugovic. Queenie. Moreno making uh, River work and mark up. Taking no risk, there's a bit of space down the left-hand side. Boxic down that left will get it. Oh, and he gets away from his man easily. This is Boxic, this is a great run. And he's in now. Great effort and somehow was palmed away. Should he have pulled that one farther back? It was a free kick there, but that was a superb run by Boxic. It wasn't a particularly good cross. He could have pulled it farther back. Who was he aiming for? He looked up, couldn't find anybody. Although Delivio was trying to get into the hole. 
Goalkeeper again, got them out of trouble. So Bernardo is doing pretty well. Bearing in mind that Bernardo was a little bit doubtful for this game because uh, he was hurt in a rearranged match that uh, River played against Huracan and he was hit by something thrown from the crowd. Because he was injured, the game was abandoned. There was a thought that he might not actually play here, but he's recovered well and he's certainly got all his senses. Good lead by uh, Ayala, who gets up so well in the air. Torricelli, hair flowing, knocks that one back too. Maruzzi away. I've seen very little of uh, Del Piero at the moment. He sparkled in the first five, ten minutes. He seemed to be uh, in the director's eye line for the first 20 minutes, and now he's faded. Now Deschamps. Boxic, what a fine game he's having. Can he cross it? He can, there's Delivio here in Zidane. Delivio, and he was so quickly closed down. Very difficult with that cross. It won't come down to you fast enough. And in comes Berizzo with a good cross. But what a marvellous game the Croat Alan Boxic is having. And Berizzo with a fine tackle. Now it's on the counter-attack, Cruz loses out. Juventus are looking so sharp in midfield, but River have won it back. Francescoli to Ortega. Ortega the danger man here. Francescoli into the penalty area. And corner it is. They work so well, these uh, two generations of uh, River Plate players. Sorin is coming up, he's scored a few goals in key positions in the Copa Libertadores too and how he'd love to score against a club who technically own him Francesca he bangs it in it's a good one punched away just by Angelo Peruzzi he was in trouble they say he's the number one goalkeeper in Italy and the Italians call him the number one in the world but sometimes he does look a little, a little bit dodgy in the air but that was good enough Offside, and I uh, might have thought there might have been a bit of handball there, but uh, 36 minutes of really great action. Marcello Lippi, 48 year old, with a bit to say when he gets rid of his gum. Must have been pleased with the way his side has played, but he should have been one up at least. Torricelli. Loses it almost. That's a little bit of a giveaway. Ayala to Montserrat. Beautifully gets in front of his man and turns away from him. And Perini bought that one. And he knows full well that uh, that's a uh, free kick. Possibility of a booking for that one. But an elbow at the throat has come to his rescue. Well, a good nucleus of uh, River and uh, Juventus supporters here. Not quite the passion of the Monumental Stadium in Buenos Aires, but a nice atmosphere nevertheless. Big one forward for Cruz, it's a poor one. Straight to Delivio. Zidane. Delivio, look at the left hand side, and there was freedom there for Jugovic. Torricelli gets to his man and challenges in an untidy fashion, but River Plate with Berti still in possession. Cruz. Cruz does well, he's there. Ortega, and there's a chance here. That was an opportunity for Francescoli, the most experienced player on the field. It was a difficult one, nevertheless, as it skewed to him. They got the ball across. It was a one-chance volley, and he didn't quite get over it. A hundred goals he scored for River Plate. 
so plenty of experience of awkward situations. Deschamps delivering quickly to his French colleague Zidane. Torricelli, good run. Still going and foul. And a little bit of a chance of a yellow card there. Yes, we're going to get it. Estrada. Player who's shown a red card in the first leg of the Copa Libertadores uh, final. Gets the first yellow card of what has been a good contest so far. And now leaves the way for Juventus perhaps to pop one in here with some big players going up. Ferrara is up there. Boxic is a key threat in the air. Chipped in by Jugovic. Good header. Uh, a foul. And a free kick. It was uh, Ferrara who was penalised. Francesca who's had the best half opening for River Plate, but certainly Juventus have had the best of chances. With uh, almost 40 minutes of this game gone, and very good entertainment. Deschamps, Zidane, Del Piero, nice play. Jugovic still going. Del Piero, whistle's gone for handball. A face of innocence by the youth Del Piero, but referee right onto it. Let's have a look. Nice little flick from Zidane, and a flick on, uh, on the shoulder from Jugovic, not Del Piero. Good flick from Del Piero. Expecting a return on the left-hand side, but didn't get it. Oh, that was handball, probably two handballs then. Meanwhile, treatment for an injured player, Vladimir Jugovic, who got a, an elbow in the eye. He's had a few injuries, Marcello Lippi, to worry about. Jugovic has not been a regular starter in this uh, Juventus lineup. Meanwhile, he's going off. You can see how it happened. So we've got about uh, four minutes before the break. That looks like a nasty black eye he's going to have. Takinari, a 21 year old midfield player, warms up. So it's 10 of Juventus, 11 of River Plate in the closing minutes of the first half here in Tokyo in the 17th Toyota Cup, which has lived up to all expectations at the moment, except nobody's managed to put the ball in the back of the net, largely thanks to some good goalkeeping by Roberto Bonanno. And now with Jugovic back on the field, it's 11 against 11 with the action up this far end. Jugovic will be needed here as he closes down, uh, possibly on Mansarat, the edge of the area, to Cruz, tries to get it over, it's a goal kick. Well, that's a fairly obvious injury there. I wonder whether that's going to stop the swelling eventually. Must be an awkward one. Again, Ayala with a good leap and well timed. And Andes and uh, a foul, I think the referee says, against uh, Del Piero, who is finding it difficult to get into the game. Deschamps, again penalised, and uh, River are getting back into this game, quite definitely. But still no breakthrough. Ortega on the edge of the area with uh, Cruz. Francescoli, Ortega coming to him, Ortega quickly closed down, no foul. 
beautifully done by Del Piero. Sedan tumbles and back come River Plate. Estrada finds Berti coming on the right hand side is Cruz. And Montero and Perutz is in there bravely. I think there was a illegal challenge as the diminutive figure of Ortega came in, but this was good play. As Ortega comes in there, I think the referee gives a free kick, but then plays on. Last minute of the first half. Torricelli. Del Piero gets it, but I don't think he quite intended that. Livio gathers up. Ferrara. Torricelli and uh, Montero. Deschamps to Jugovic. Nicely done to Zidane. Bit of space here, but River marking up well. Boxage, great control under pressure. Here comes Torricelli. Delivio. Showed a little bit too much of it to Sergio Berti, and in he went. Anxious faces here on the river bench. Deschamps, great play, but just nudged away. And that's a foul, and that will be a booking, I would have thought, or should have been. Perini stopped his man in the most deliberate fashion, but the Brazilian referee gives only a free kick. If that had been in the other half, I would have spent a few uh, yen on that being a yellow card. So, of the two youngsters who were the key players here, Ortega, I think, has been the livelier of the two. Zidane picks up Deschamps. Del Piero. Ford goes Boxic. Can't get there. And there goes the whistle for the end of what has been a very competitive and interesting first half in which there's been some great talent on view, in which uh, Del Piero was tightly marked and looked lively early on. Francescoli, late in the uh, first half, had the best chance for River Plate, but Boxic has been absolutely outstanding, and certainly uh, Juventus should have been the side. To Although Juventus had the better chances, River Plate finished uh, very well in the first half. So we're away for the second half of the 17th uh, Toyota Cup. And uh, Juventus will feel a little bit aggrieved that they're not already in the lead. But uh, River have survived and uh, with their resilience and their ability and certainly their youth. Who's to say that they couldn't uh, pinch this one yet? Oh, and uh, Cruz was almost away, although he was uh, accused there of pushing the Uruguay and the Palo Montero. The Uruguayans themselves have got a good record uh, in this tournament with Nacional won it twice, many year old won it once and lost it once, but here it's uh, the Italians of Juventus with two Frenchmen, a Serbian, a Croat and a Uruguayan in their side against River Plate with one Paraguayan, one Uruguayan and nine Argentines. Marcello Lippi would have been happy with the first half, but unhappy that they aren't already in the lead. Can they keep it going? Torricelli knocks it into the middle. Away by Ayala. Pushed on further by Estrada. <laughs> Ramon Diaz has been under a bit of pressure at home. 
despite the fact that they won the Copa Libertadores in some style. The league form hasn't, until this season, been particularly good. Now, Boxic chases this one. He's a big fellow, but he's got terrific pace. Forced the defender into a hurried clearance, and it's picked up by Jugovic. Boxic stays down the line, a little touch to him, and a foul by Hernandez. Rather fortunately, he didn't get a yellow card by the, from the Brazilian referee, who's an economist with the state government, which means he can probably get quite a bit of time off for football. Knocked in by Zidane, not quite good enough. Looked away by Montserrat, back in again by Jugovic. Oh, and forward to Boxic, and Nano comes again and does well. Offside, might have been. There's a good break on the left hand side. Can't bear to get there. And well away by Ferrara, the very experienced central defender and Italian international. Good build up play here and break. And he's being held off. He's still going. And now a chance to cross for Delivio. It's a deep one. Boxic, Jugovic can get it back in to Deschamps, nimble play, good tackle, Jugovic going again, Deschamps, Zidane, he's on his own now, he needs help, gets it from Jugovic, great interception, Franceschini and Ortega working well together there, quick throw to Ortega, and an obvious foul, I'd have thought. The referee says, play on, I'm surprised. Anyhow, here's Del Piero. Wide on the right is uh, Delivio. He's got uh, Tacanelli supporting him. Torricelli gets it again. Here they come. Torricelli again with a challenge. And uh, River Plate put up the shutters, just Delivio. Del Piero, nice play. Del Piero goes forward, and it was too strong. Was it deflected or not? But there was a good opening there as Del Piero raced forward on that one. Beautiful play. There goes Del Piero, and the header just stopped him. Cruz is beaten by three striped shirts. For the fierceness of the first half, opens the second half here. Doesn't seem to be any jet lag from these two teams. And Andreas, great play. Francesco. Return and a foul and a yellow card. Vladimir Jugovic for blocking Enzo Francescoli. Brazilian referee totally justified with that one. And now it's Peruzzi who's going to be under a little bit of a threat with Ayala in there and uh, Bariso, the two central defenders. It's a good one, and it's just flipped away beyond Peruzzi's top right-hand corner by Juan Sorin. Sorin got a couple of key goals in the Copa Libertadores, and how dearly he loved to score against well, what is his club. Although he looks by in the next few weeks to be a River Plate player permanently for something like one million one hundred thousand dollars, and that's another bad challenge as the River Plate player was going through and the Uruguayan this time is booked it's uh, Montero they're under the cosh of it Juventus that was a marvellous play by Berti now it's 
River Plate with the initiative. Once more, Francesca lobs one in. It's a good deep one. Oh, great header. Just too strong. Perizzo, the central defender, coming beyond that far post. Diving header to get it into the middle. Never really under control. But at the moment, it's uh, River Plate here. Started the second half better. He went to two bookings. So forth. Now, here's an opening. It's uh, Delivio breaking forward a great speed. And the cross wasn't good enough, although he had the pace to get by his man, certainly. Now, the counter attack from River Plate. Ortega backs away from his man superbly. Got the ball on the left hand side. Chesterly. Still going. Second challenge, that was too much for him. Oh, it's Betty, in fact, coming over now for the quick throw. That goes to Sorin. Sorin goes in once more. Great clearance by Ferrara. Superb play now by River Plate. They've got the bit between their teeth. Side who over the weekend lost their position at the top of the Argentine League. Now it's Jugovic to get to Del Piero going. Del Piero can come it in. Great job again. Jugovic misses and offside. Another opening miss by Juventus and another good save by Roberto Bonanno. Del Piero. Boxic and the goalkeeper superb and then a miss hit and Boxic is clearly offside there as he comes back from that position to threaten. They should have scored there but once more the River Plate goalkeeper has pulled something out of the fire. Montero clears. Jugovic and up and under. Played by Montserrat, free kick. 17th Toyota Cup here, the host broadcasters are NTV, Channel 4, the senior commercial station here in Japan. 60,000 tickets were sold in nine days in October. This is very much a big event in the Japanese calendar when they've got plenty of big soccer events these days and a, an even bigger one or two coming up in 2002. Here goes Ortega, this is great play. for River Plate. The pace is phenomenal here. Diaz. Good cut out by Montero. And Ayala gets a boot to it, but it's a throw in. So ten minutes of the second half gone. The one that was missed and the one that got away, that was a miss hit by Jugovic and then offside by Boxic. Well, Juventus playing in the black and white uh, traditional strip. Originally they played in pink, would you believe? And then uh, they went to, to Nottingham, one of their members, and liked the black and white stripes. And here they go, and they certainly like this too. It's, uh, Delivio on the right hand side. Up they go. Good header by Ayala. It's going to be picked up by uh, Torricelli. Delivio. They're all over the place here, and that's a free kick. The red sash of River Plate came when they originally played in white, and two sides in the early days of this century were both playing in white, and they picked up a little bit of red hanging on them and then uh, took to it permanently. Zero. Almost. So he cruised through the middle for certainly working well in midfield. That was an unusual mistake by Ariel Ortega. Zidane, 
puts it to Del Piero. Oh, that's a harsh one. And uh, the River Plate players, I think, just as well, claiming that uh, Zidane was challenging with a high foot there. Porini. A gaggle of River Plate substitutes warming up. Sorin, there, free kick, Moreno is telling him to wait because he's going up into a striking position, he's done that, Moreno's in there, and straight to the goalkeeper, Del Piero's header, driven short, right on target, but too much on target. Lovely flick header from Del Piero. But once again, the goalkeeper, Roberto Bonanno, who's having a, a marvellous game and something of a charmed life, does the trick once more. The referee didn't like that one. He claims that to be handball. As we linger on Alessandro Del Piero who has a contract with Juventus until the year 2000, if he wishes. Torricelli to Delivio, it's a hard ball for him, and Serene is in hard there. Delivio giving him something of a look. Torricelli wins it back again. Turns hey. into trouble. Hey, well, we talked about the top players that the Juventus have sold or dispensed with since they won the Champions League, but River Plate themselves have sold uh, Crespo to Parma, Almeida to Seville, and three or four other good players have left. So they've done well to rebuild, but now they're under pressure. Once more with Delivio's free kick. Del Piero gets into the middle. That's an opening that should have been in the back of the net. There's some pushing and shoving there as uh, Boxic went in. Moreno puts it back. Ooh, they're fighting for the ball there. Somehow, I don't know how that one was missed. Appeals for pushing as the Boxic went in on that one. Del Piero. Free kick. They're working on the referee a little bit. Corini is up there. Ferrara has gone in too. Moreno has stayed back this time. This is a difficult curling free kick. This is some more like it. Oh, and they just stuck it away again. time. They haven't pushed that far out, River Plate. There's a bit of space here, and Boxage is penalised. The Argentine tried to get in front of him. Something of an artistic shot there, going from watch to face, but he's got plenty of time, actually. We've had any, uh, just a little bit more than 15 minutes of the second half here. Ayala, the Paraguayan, who's hurt in this one. It's not a particularly good kick. This helped on to Cruz, who hasn't had a shot at goal yet, but has worked very hard up front. Now it looks as if it's uh, Juventus who won back the initiative. Again, a free kick. Rather too many stoppages at the moment. Juventus are currently fourth in the table. Vicenza of all teams at the head of Serie A. So they've got a, a little bit to make up, four points behind at the moment, one game in hand. 
This is a good ball to Jugovic. Can he get forward? Still another chance, perhaps, and wins the corner. Again, Perini will come up from the back. So will uh, Moreno. Montero, rather. There's Perini. And even Ferrara comes into the middle of this. There's a big threat here to River Plate. Up goes the goalkeeper. Good punch. Push up to the edge of the area as Delivio whacks it back in. It's a good head of it, not enough. And a wild strike in the end by Vladimir Lugovic. As a result of the scramble for that corner, Giro Ferrara, the experienced defender, who's used to giving it out a little bit himself in those situations, is on the receiving end. Here's how it happened. There's all sorts of pushing and throwing there. No, in fact, he fell awkwardly. He's on his feet as the coach ponders. He goes off the field for the moment. All treatment these days must be beyond the sidelines. Has he damaged his shoulder? Seems to be all right. He's a pretty hardy character. Zero back to Angelo Peruzzi, who for the moment is comparatively unoccupied in this game, as uh, Ferrara comes back on. So a generous round of applause. That's a high challenge and uh, a free kick. Quickly taken. Berti. Francesco, they're not getting through here, and still Juventus working as hard as ever. Zidane. Diaz has seen it. Tries to thread it through to the left-hand side. That's a good, quick ball. In for Del Piero, and a free kick to the man. Piero is not desperately good in there, who did have one marvellous header at the beginning of the second half. Francescoli getting so many free kicks now, it's getting a little bit untidy. So both these sides in previous generations have won this trophy, but the nil-nil here is very wide open. Montserrat with the kick, a lot of pushing and shoving that area. There's a good header, and it's uh, Torricelli who's being leaned on. There was a good opportunity there, but he did well to get in front of his man, Ayala. Jugovic nicely to Zidane. In for Del Piero, for Boxic. Wasn't quite there. second half than there was in the first, which is a pity, but it's very tense at the moment. And these free kicks and corners from the flanks have caused River a lot of problems, and especially with Del Piero on the ball, he can put it on the peso, or a lira in his case. Lugovic tries from a huge distance. A couple of goals for Red Star Belgrade in 1991, but he's uh, had only half a chance in this particular contest. Well, just to our right, we have in the commentary box Michael Laudrup, former Juventus player, 
and also uh, Omar Sivori, who the great Argentine, who when River Plate sold him to Juventus, they built a stand with the money, and so they were pretty happy, and so were Juventus because they won uh, three championships in the 50s. And Omar Sivori, with players like John Charles, ruled the roost. But uh, we're going to get the yellow card here for Perini. That was certainly very ugly. Francesca did a good play. Now there's Ortega, ball in the middle, and it put out by Montero. Ortega again. Lovely stuff. And a little bit unlucky to get nothing from it. But good defending also by Juventus, because he's got great skill, lovely balance. And Perini gets in the way. Perini, the player who didn't make it at AC Milan, and has done so well at Juventus that he's even got a couple of Italian caps. Deschamps. Foul again. So much whistle now. Boxic penalised. Boxic and Del Piero up front. Oh, there's an untidiness. Three minutes of the second half gone, and we're still goalless. Last year, of course, we were goalless all the way through and went to penalties, which is something nobody wants. This, I think, is a better game, but it's getting a little bit frustrating, punctuated by too many tense and irritable fouls. elbows flying around as uh, Ayala goes down well when uh, River Plate won the Copa Libertadores uh, this time they beat America of Cali over two games, of course, as is usual. And in 1986, when they won it, they also beat uh, America of Cali. And then they came here to win 1-0 in a tense game. They could still do that here as uh, Ayala, the Paraguayan, goes off for a little bit of treatment, which won't take long. Really stops the flow a little bit. He's back on the field already. one from Estrada, picked up by Del Piero. Haven't seen so much as uh, Boxic in this second half as we saw in the first. Here's Francesca, a good play to uh, Ortega. Almost, only inches there, and he almost got by his man. And it's Juventus who get the throw. Not an easy, though, one for Perini. Juvic bangs in into the middle rather waywardly. to Ortega. Free kick, and this now could be promising for River Plate. Clumsy challenge, protests from the Italians, particularly uh, Torricelli. But now we have a situation where we've got an opportunity of Bangwan over to the far post, and uh, Berizzo and uh, Ayala getting involved. Or even uh, Berti with the left foot. Or Francesca with the right foot going straight for goal. With the Brazilian referee pushing the line back. If he can float that one into dead, the dead ground behind the back four. Francesca goes for it. Well, it was really neither one thing nor the other. I suppose if the goalkeeper had got a touch and ran that into the path of the on-rushing forwards, it could have been dangerous. And that, I suppose, is what he was looking for. It didn't happen. A 
again, Ayala got the ball in the air, but it's uh, Delivio racing down that right-hand side, getting the cross in towards Boxic. Well, two players coming in there, Jugovic, Boxic, and then just in front of them was Del Piero. Just off target again, but the balls hit to the near post are causing more trouble than the ones hit to the far post. So still we look for the first goal here in this 17th Toyota Cup as Ortega gets forward offside. Protests. I think they might have been justified. But they're certainly very dangerous. The combinations between uh, Ortega and Francescoli. No, he was offside. The lines was perfectly correct. Delivio. Del Piero. Torricelli is back here. Can he get it forward? Runs into trouble, almost. Back by Deschamps. It's a fine ball to Delivio on the right-hand side there. Deschamps, before the challenge came in and rattled his ankles. They haven't quite got the flow, Juventus, in midfield that they had in the first half. Oh, not another one. And a possible substitution coming up. Great interception by Montero. A lot of space here, but not too many players. Montero is still up there. Chip full for Boxage, it's too strong, and it all comes to nothing. Substitution uh, imminent then, as we watch how Montero misplaced his pass. Uh, Gancedo is the substitute and Betty is the player coming off. Gancedo, a 25 year old who was bought from uh, a much troubled Argentinos Juniors, who have been relegated sadly. A side who, can you imagine it, uh, performed in the Toyota Cup here with distinction against. Juventus in the 80s, now struggling so badly, terribly in debt, selling their best players as fast as they can. And Seno in here, in Berti's place on the left-hand side. Some ugly challenges going in, and uh, Ortega is causing them enormous problems. Fifteen minutes of normal time left. Again, the tricky cross coming in with the big flares over the back, Berizzo. That's a good one, and wide. When the goalkeeper looked as if he might have been struggling, again, Ayala and Berizzo, the two big fellas there, causing problems, but they can't get it on target. Great play. Too strong. Montserrat coming in to close down this one. Gets it, does well. Now he wants a bit of support. Hernandez is with him. He's here. He can chip one into the middle. Flicked on, and in goes Ortega! Thumped away in relief by Juventus. If he'd have got that one in, 
that would have been game set and match or should have been beautiful bit of play by Hernandez Cruz and onto the bar and away Ortega desperately unlucky great moment though here's Montserrat they're looking very lively worth seeing again race for the ball flicked it away challenged by the goalkeeper and it bounces off the bar and away cool, there's some fierce challenges going in here and Juventus are quite definitely losing their rhythm and uh, 22 year old Ariel Ortega is certainly coming to the top of this fierce contest Julio Cruz into the game, boys. Cruz going for this one. Montero should see that one over the line comfortably. It wasn't a good ball for the 22-year-old tall striker. And he acknowledges that. Lovely bit of play. Montserrat. Hernandez. Flicked by Cruz. And so close. Left-hand side goes uh, Sarin. Gansedo's come more into the midfield. Oh, that was a bit of a giveaway by Ortega, but Gansedo's onto him fast. And then Sarin, so they whack it away again in desperation. That's a foul. No, play on. Montserrat, they're really going for it here. Play on again. There's plenty of action here. Despite the fact that we've had a large number of stoppages in the second half, two incidents here that looked as if they did merit a whistle, brought nothing. Good interception by Jugovic, another great pass. How can they build up here? Boxic, Del Piero, he's on his own. He's brought down. No, he isn't. No foul there either. Now. It's River Plate. They look as if they've got a bit of a taste for it. Now he will be in trouble here. Del Piero with challenges like that. Nice gesture by Juventus, which uh, they invited the players who were involved in the Champions League success in Rome in June to come here. Players like uh, Viali, Ravanelli, Pietro Wood. Known full well, of course, they wouldn't be able to take up that opportunity, but despite that, it was a, a pleasant gesture. River Plate themselves came first class. That must have cost a little bit with the size of their squad. But both clubs on this occasion usually try to make the most of it for players and uh, members of staff, because it is a big occasion. And that's a fairly unusual place for most of them to come to. Nice play by Boxic. Done well, he's got uh, Delivio on the right-hand side. Can he get there? Now he should have a chance of getting a good cross in. Well closed down by the substitute, Gancedo. Now Delivio with a corner. Once more, it's uh, Porini, Ferrara. And Montero coming up. Oh, and now Del Piero! He's done it! The header wasn't cleared. It comes to Del Piero, and that was where it was finished. It was a superb turn. It was a little bit fortunate to get it, but how quickly he reacted. Lightning strike, 
and Roberto Bonanno couldn't get there. Well, the corner was a little bit short. It was flicked wide by Zidane, I think, and a superb turn by Alessandro Del Piero. Whacked into the top of the net. And the glamour boy of uh, Italian football puts Juventus into the lead. 37 minutes into the second half, and now River Plate have got a terribly big mountain to climb. And they have had the best of the last 15 minutes of this game, certainly. Cancedo. Oh, good shot. Montero got offside, straight into the arms of the grateful Angelo Peruzzi. And that danger's over. And we're going to have a, a spicy last 13 minutes or so. If it is the last 13 minutes. And we're also going to have a substitution. Whistle's gone for a free kick. We're going to have another forward brought on by River. Ramon Diaz now knows his size in trouble. It's Salas who comes on. It's Cruz who goes off. And straight into the thick of the action. Corner. Now Juventus have got to stay firm. They're going to have everything thrown at them. Del Piero included back in a defensive role here. Everybody back in the penalty area. Ortega to take it. Ayala and Berizzo, of course, enormous problems in the air. Good header by Zidane. Back in again. A couple of players are offside. Gansedo gets in there. Juventus have pushed up well and defended well. They've got a little bit of a taste for it now. Zidane, Gansedo, Boxic, well blocked by Estrada. And back come River Plate. They're going to have a fiery last spell, I'm pretty certain. Zidane. Oh, my word, that's a vicious kick. And that, I would have thought, must be a yellow card for Zidane. It certainly is. Dear me. Again, they're all piling into that penalty area. Good flick back. Away by Ferrara. Driven. Oh, great save by Peruzzi. It was Ayala who struck it. And the smile on the face of the Juventus goalkeeper. It's a smile of relief as much as anything. It's a good hit by the Paraguayan and a great save. Pensado and Deschamps foul. High challenge. Deschamps has been comparatively quiet, particularly in the second half. He pulled it out of the bag there, Pulisic. He hasn't had a great deal to do in the second half. Not certainly in the last 20 minutes, anyhow. Bolivio, Juventus leading by one goal to nil. Torricelli. Del Piero. Wins the corner. Good enough. Five minutes left. Here's how he scored the goal that put them into the lead. From a corner, and here it comes in again. Boxic is in there. Lovely control by uh, Hernan Diaz. Free kick. Juventus getting uh, everybody behind the ball, killing it off as far as possible. Superb turn by Del Piero. And I don't think there's any doubt there'll be the man of the match here. The tradition is it's voted on by Japanese journalists. And uh, I think Del Piero had a chance of being man of the match if he'd only sat on the bench here. But since he's got the goal, which has put Juventus in the lead so far, he has more of a chance. They're not uh, playing the old pretty, pretty stuff, Juventus, at the moment. They're giving it the big boot. They get half a chance. Building up well here, though. Oh, look. Del Piero. Boxic. 
Here he goes for number two. Lovely move. Desperately close. And this time it was Del Piero who was uh, helping to create the chance. Took it a little bit wide. And Bonanno had the angle covered. Great counter-attack. Superb pass by Del Piero. A flying tumble there by the Argentine. Brought nothing. Corini, he's onside. Boxic has got a chance to wrap this game up. He's got space, he's got time. And he's got nothing. It was a good challenge by Sorin, not the first he's put in in this game, but Boxic should have done better. It was a bouncing ball which he didn't really control terribly well in the first place. Was he offside? No, the linesman said. You've got a chance. Get on with it. And Sorin, the 20 year old, gets back very, very fast indeed. But Boxic should have done better. But the time is ticking away. Two minutes left. Still 1 0 to Juventus. Torricelli, a little bit of space. Can he get a good crossing? Delivio. This is a good one. No, it isn't. Ferrara competing there with Ortega. Less than two minutes left. Lippi knows that he might yet have another trophy in the bag. Cancedo. Oh, good interception. Away right, they go. And the chance here for number two. Oh, my word, how did he manage that? Olivio looked as if he was free, he looked as if he was going to square it to Boxic. He did neither. And somehow the defensive foot came in. Well, he did well, in fact, to be fair, it was Barizzo. I would have thought he could have checked back on that and squared it to Boxic. Now we could have all gone home. But now, with less than a minute left on our clock at least, it's still 1-0, and it's Juventus holding on and keeping possession quite skillfully. Deschamps, and still a tick away. Takenail is on. Jugovic. Boxic, if they can keep it down here and just keep possession or even knock it off. <laughs> giving away free kicks and doing that much good. Well, you can see how little time there is for River Plate to save this game. Ninety minutes is up. Zidane is coming off. Coming on is Takinadi. But it's just a time delaying motion. We've had plenty of stoppages in the second half, but I don't know how much time the Brazilian referee will add on. Because now River Plate have got to pull something right out of the bag. They've had a very impressive spell or two. They've hit the bar, but they've forced Peruzzi to a save or two. But they're trailing 1-0, and it looks as if they're going to lose the 17th Toyota Cup. It's Juventus who hung on and produced a killer stroke from Del Piero. Montserrat, this is a chance here. And again, Perucci saves the day. Superb bit of goalkeeper. Juventus players back into the second minute of time added on here as River looks for the equaliser. They won't get it from this one. Perucci has come up trump certainly. And uh, Francesca he doesn't look as if he's going to win this one. Now Olivio with Del Piero and Takanadi in the middle. Takanadi goes down. The free kick on the edge of the area. More seconds tick away. 
and the river are oh, losing it in more ways than one. This is unnecessary. The tension is overflowed. And the river is overflowing, really. It's really exactly what they don't want because it means more time is being wasted. We're going to get a free kick on the edge of the area. It was very close to being in the area. And we have now played uh, over 47 minutes. And we have a chance for Del Piero to show his prowess with free kicks. Del Piero. Oh, just past the post. That's how would have wrapped it up. We could have had the two man of the match awards. Fella to gone in. But I think he'll find that there's a very civilized uh, Toyota machine waiting for him in a few minutes. 48 minutes we played. Three minutes of time added on. Which is quite generous by the Brazilian referee. Bonanno, the goalkeeper, comes out to hurry things along. Now, this is the last throw for River Plate of Argentina. Can they get back in the game? No, they can't. Goal kick. Well, they played some good football, particularly Ortega, but it's the other young star at the other end who looks as if he might have played the trump card. More than three and a half minutes of a time added on in the 17th Toyota Cup. Ramon Diaz knows his time surely is up. Milano does well, but Boxic is going to get there and bang it in, and the whistle's gone anyhow. And it misses. The final whistle, and Juventus have beaten River Plate by one goal to nil. The hero, Alessandro Del Piero, with the goal scored in the 37th minute of the second half. A tough contest. In the second half, a little bit of a niggly, bitter contest. But uh, a game with a lot of skill, great competition, and worthy play by River Plate, who looked as if they were getting the initiative back, and you can say that uh, Ariel Ortega is a very, very unlucky loser. He did some wonderful things as the trophies are awarded. The Toyota Cup and the Intercontinental Cup. What is that? And the man of the match, of course. The captain of Juventus, Angelo Peruzzi, Made some important saves himself. Holds now the big one. And uh, Alessandro Del Piero also up uh, with him to receive the plaudits. The fourth club to win this one twice. AC Milan, of course, another Italian club have done that. So it's a fairly rare occasion for any side to come here, but uh, Juventus looked the part. River Plate gave them a, a great contest, but just one winner and uh, one, the man of the match, will receive an impressive land cruiser, which has been gleaming to our left-hand side for most of the game.